Hi everyone and welcome back. This is One Kit 10 cards and I will be using the May card kit by Simon Says Stamp. I did skip the April card kit just because it never arrived. I guess it was lost in the mail. So the kit came with these uh, fine line markers by Crayola. And you see Ginger is looking for that lollipop. You also get these designs on watercolor paper. And as you can see, Ginger doesn't let me do what I am supposed to do just because I have already hidden that lollipop when he cannot find it. Okay, I will just ignore my cut and continue. You do get these designs by UG Designs and uh, you are able to create animated cards. You just saw the example with the heart and you do get many different designs. I am going to talk a little bit more about this later on. So now I am going to show you a little bit of the pattern papers. These are pattern papers that are double sided. They come in different patterns and uh, I am going to pretty much use most of them by the end of the video. The one side has a beautiful pattern while the other side is plain. You also get this acetate, two of them. And uh, they have uh, different designs on top of them that uh, you can cut out and use. Now, I think that you have to peel off, to peel it off and it becomes nice and clear. And clear. So I hope you can see the difference in between them. One is very clear while the other one looks milky. So don't forget to peel the, that off. And finally, you get five different colors of cardstock, two whites and three more colors that match perfectly the theme of the card kit. Now, as always, I am going to cut the cardstock lengthwise in half and uh, then I'm going to fold it so that I can end up having 10 different card bases. And I have to apologize about the black dot that I have on my screen. I guess there was um, a glitter on my lens and I didn't notice until I started doing the video editing. So anyway, I have started creating my first card. For that, I'm going to combine these two pattern papers and I'm going to cut out two strips from this pink one, which I am going to use as borders. So this way I'm only going to use a little bit of this pattern paper and I can keep the, other, the rest of it for another card. I'm going to stick those strips on top of my card base. For this card I am using the white one. And uh, at this point I have to admit that this wasn't an easy card kit to create 10 cards out of just because there wasn't any sentiments in the stamp set. So I will have to end up using many cutouts from uh, dies that I already have as sentiments and I'm also going to use a stamp set that is full of sentiments that I will be using over and over again to add sentiments on my cards. And now, as you can see, I have used a hard die to cut out a little window on my panel. I'm adding some uh, tape adhesive at the back of my heart, and now I'm going to cover up this uh, window with some acetate. Obviously, I am going for a shaker card now, and this is going to be a great card for Valentine's Day. I have added my foam tape at the back, I have added some uh, sequins inside my little heart and now I'm going to cover it up with this piece of paper that is the same color as the borders that I have added on my card base. So now all I have to do is to peel off the backing and then stick that on top of my card base. For my sentiment, I cut out the word U. This is a Simon Says Stamp die. I'm adding some glue with my glue pen at the back and I'm going to stick it on top and just next to the heart, as if the card says, love you. And that completes the first card for today. And here is a close-up look. Now for the second card I'm going to cut out this panel to be slightly smaller than my standard card and uh, then I'm going to use a die that says friend. This is a Simon's stamp die which I'm going to cut out three times out of white cardstock and one time out of this pattern paper in yellow. So now I'm going to run them through my Xyron sticker maker and that's just so that I can turn them into stickers so they have adhesive at the backing. I thought that was the quickest way to do it. I'm going to wrap it with my bone folder and then I'm going to stick one on top of the other, having the yellow one at the very top. I ended up having the word friend, which is nice and thick, just as if it was uh, made out of uh, cardboard. And I'm going to stick that on top of my panel. I'm going to stick the eye for the dot there. 
And if I made this uh, card again, I would definitely use uh, the offset technique where you stick uh, the same word underneath but a little bit offset and I would do that out of black which would help the word friend to pop even more. Now it's uh, really visible and easy to read when uh, you see it on hand but uh, I can see that through the camera it's kind of busy, the background is quite busy so the yellow friend word is kind of lost there. So anyway, you can just change the color of the word friend and make it um, like dark red, for example, and it would stand out even more. To complete my sentiment, I have just stamped the word hello, and I'm going to stick that over my word friend. So my panel now reads hello friend. And I have done that out of black cardstock that helps that hello stand even more. Now I'm going to add some foam tip at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. Nice and colorful and perfect card for spring. To finish it off I am adding some shine with my glitter pen. And always when I am working on my 10 cards I try to make uh, to keep them as simple as possible but at the same time try to use as many products from the kit as I can. Now for the third card I am going to use my Crayola pens and you can see that they work uh, beautifully when uh, you try to spread them out with a watercolor pen. Now this is a watercolor brush that has uh, water in the barrel and I'm adding just a touch of uh, color with my marker at the base of my cactus and then spread it out with my uh, brush. Now I was happily surprised and uh, I know that these are really inexpensive uh, markers but they work beautifully. Just remember to work on watercolor paper and of course if you are going to stamp something then make sure that uh, you stamp everything with uh, archival ink or any other type of ink that is permanent. So I will continue coloring everything and I am going to let this uh, go as I color. I am not going to edit anything out, just so you can see how beautiful it works. I am going to mix up some of the colors. I am going to put on some music and catch you back once I have colored all the three pots. So this is how I colored the three top pots of uh, these designs and uh, then I finally decided to go ahead and color one more as you can see here and just because I cannot keep anything flat I am just going to cut out everything. As I am cutting out I am going to make sure that I leave a white border which is going to help me cut these images easier. I don't have to follow those black lines. And I still have four more pots to color and use on another card that I can create with a similar design. 
Now, of course, if you hate uh, cutting out images, you can just stick color everything on this uh, panel and stick it as it is on top of a card and you have a beautiful card as it is. I just wanted to take it a step further and show you a different design. So I have this uh, pattern paper, which is a leftover from the previous card, and I'm going to die cut the word hugs. And at the very bottom of this, I'm going to nest all those little pots. And just because this is square, that's the leftover that I had from the previous card, I ended up uh, cutting out the card base into a little four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. So the proportions match perfectly with the leftover that I had. So I have a lovely little uh, note card there. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And then I'm going to add uh, foam squares on some of the pots. And I'm going to adhere others with, directly with tape adhesive. This way I have some of them look as if they are at the front and some of them as if they are at the back. And this is definitely one of uh, my favorites from these 10 cards that I created for today. Just because these pots are so colorful and they really make me happy when I look at them. To finish it off, I am using my white gel pen and adding some dots on one of that pot, as well as some little details here and there. Now I am going to show you how I used this acetate, which is full of numbers, to create a birthday card. As you can see, I am working on a card base directly and I am using this rectangle die that I am going to cut out the inside of my card front. This is going to create a big, big hole and um, although it looks really flimsy at the moment, I am going to cover it up with uh, the acetate which is nice and hard and it's going to keep my card base nice and sturdy. So I am also going to use uh, this die which is by my favorite things and I am going to cut out a frame. And the idea here is to actually sandwich the acetate between the card base and that frame. Now, I am using some uh, tape adhesive all around that frame and I was uh, lucky enough since I had uh, this uh, very thin uh, tape, but you can also use your glue pen. I am going all the way around that uh, white little thin border that I still have as my card front. I am making sure that everything is nice and neat. I am going to peel off the packing and I will keep that ready to go. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the blue frame that I already have, adding some tape adhesive all around. I'm going to peel off the bagging again. And once everything is done, I'm ready to sandwich one on top of the other. So now I am going to take that frame and place it on top of the numbers. I am trying to have a nice and straight and uh, the grid is really helping me, the mat that I have on my grid. To keep everything nice and straight, now I'm going to use my scissors to cut off all the excess. And I still have a few numbers for another card. So my top panel is ready to go. Now that I have cut out all the excess, I can stick it on top of my card base. And I have already the adhesive exposed. Now if you look on the inside, you kind of see a little bit of that blue border. If that bothers you, you can cut out another blue border and stick it on the inside of the card to cover up everything. I thought that it was quite neat, so I didn't bother to do that. Now I am going to finish my card off by stamping the sentiments and I want to have the sentiments on the inside of my card. So I am going to place them first on top of the acetate. I closed the door of my Misty, now I'm going to open up my card, place the magnet, secure it nicely there, and now I know that the sentiments are going to be in between the numbers, so when you close the card you will be able to still read what's inside the card. So now you will see the end result, and I think that this is such a fun card, I really love it, one of my favorites again. By the way, all the sentiments that I am using today come from the same stamp set by my favorite things, which is called More Essential Sentiments, and you will find a link down below. It has 26 different uh, sentiments, perfect for any occasion, and uh, they are great, especially if you are trying to create many cards out of one card kit, and you don't have uh, matching sentiments. This is perfect. 
Now, as you can see, I have already started working on the next card. I have colored a piece of white cardstock and uh, I just added a little bit of uh, inking there to create a sky. And now with my scissors, I am cutting out this guide. And this comes from the other um, acetate that was included in the kit. I am leaving a little border all around. I'm not paying any attention on cutting out everything perfectly. After all, it's acetate, it's transparent and it's not going to show as much. So the idea here is to create a sky scene, so I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of the guide and just because this is so colorful, it's not going to show. And I'm going to add some of those clouds that I have cut out all around my card. This uh, uh, card kit, by the way, is already sold out, but I am going to link you down below to all the products that I'm using, including the dies, as well as some products of uh, the kit that you can get separately. By the way, the June card kit isn't st uh, sold out yet, so you might want to check it out. You will find a link to that down below. It's really, really beautiful, such a gorgeous card kit, and I am going to share my 10 cards next week. Again, for this card, I'm going to use a sentiment from the same stamp set as I did for the rest of my cards, that is full of sentiments, as you can see on the right on your screen. I have uh, white embossed my sentiment, I used uh, Versamarking to stamp the sentiment and then uh, white embossing powder and I'm going to stick that on top of my card. I used foam tape to add a little bit of dimension and I'm going to stick that on top of the car dark blue card base and my card is finished. And now for the sixth card for today, I am going to use this pattern paper on top of this uh, cardstock. This is a card base, the green one is a card base by the way. I am holding it as I am cutting out on an angle. And now I'm going to use some tape adhesive and stick it at the very bottom of my card base. So I have a touch of color at the very bottom on an angle. Now I am going to use uh, this uh, strip of yellow paper that comes from another pattern paper that is uh, a scrap from a previous card. I'm going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to stick it exactly on top of the other pattern paper. So I do have a touch of uh, color there. Now to embellish my card I'm going to use this pair of uh, sunglasses that match perfectly my pattern paper so I am uh, cutting it out just like I did with uh, the guide in the previous card. I am leaving a little bit of border all around and this is where I decided to cut out the word hello out of this Simon's stamp die but of course if you don't have this die you can always stamp your sentiment along that line. Now I'm going to cut it out of black cardstock and I'm going to stick it down. And for the top of my card I am going to repeat the same process. So first I'm going to stick this pattern paper on an angle again as well as a thin yellow strip along the side. Now I do have uh, these uh, sunglasses that I have cut out earlier. I'm going to stick them in between. And I am also going to add a fun element, so on one side of my glasses I'm going to add a silver star that shines and I think that's a great card for any teenager in your life. Now for this card I'm going to use the other watercolor panel that has the flamingo design and I'm going to color it again with the markers that were included in the kit. Again I'm using the same method as I did on the previous card with the cacti and uh, I'm adding just a touch of color with the marker and then with my watercolor brush I am just uh, spreading the color out. So I do get uh, shadows as well as lighter areas with this technique. I used red for coloring my flamingo and uh, pink for coloring the beak as well as the legs and now I am using uh, the blue one for uh, the water and I will go ahead and use orange and yellow for the heart that says hello love. And once you color your flamingo, you can just stick it on top of uh, a card base and it would go perfectly on uh, the pink or on the blue one. But you know me, I just can't uh, leave anything as it is. I want to add dimension, so I will go ahead and cut it out.
And as I'm cutting it out, I am leaving just a thin white border. This is going to help my flamingo stand out even more as I am planning to stick it on top of the pink card base. So my flamingo is ready to go and to add some interest on my card base I am going to add some white splashes. For that you can use any white acrylic paint that you have. I just used gesso. I have thinned it down with uh, water and with a thin brush I am adding a, a few splashes at the background. So now I am going to add some foam tape at the back of my flamingo making sure that the splashes are uh, nice and dry there so I don't make a mess. And at the back of my flamingo I'm going to add some uh, foam squares so that I can pop it out. And you can consider the card finished at this stage. But uh, I am going to go ahead and add some uh, uh, little dots. I'm going to use my Nouveau glue drops here to add some uh, clear um, Nouveau drops on his eye and on his beak so that it's nice and shiny. And then I'm going to use my jewel drops and um, I am going to add some uh, dots on the water. Now I'm going for a very colorful card now and very sweet one. I'm going to use this pattern paper with the butterflies and I'm going to cut out a rectangle that is slightly smaller than the standard card. So now I'm going to use one of those dies with the borders and for that you can use any border die that you have. And I'm going to place the butterflies on top of uh, the yellow pattern paper and then both of them on top of my card base. So I'm going to stick uh, the butterflies on top with uh, some uh, foam squares at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. I am peeling off the backing. I'm going to stick that on top and I do have enough space at the bottom to stamp the sentiment. Again I'm going to use the same stamp set as I did previously by my favorite things and I have chosen the sentiment that says you are the sweetest. I'm going to stamp it at the very bottom of my card on top of that yellow area and I still have a, a, an empty space on one side where I can stick some of those butterflies. So from uh, the rest of the pattern paper that I have, I'm going to cut out three little butterflies. So I am creating actually my very own embellishments out of the scrap paper that I have. I'm going to stick the butterflies on uh, that empty space with my glue pen and my card is ready to go. I'm going to stick the panel on top of my card base and it's finished. Now for this card I'm going to use this uh, little example of the hugest designs and you do get many different designs in this stamp set but I'm not going to use it today. I do have a bunch of them and I think that they are a lot of fun so I will come back with another video where I will demonstrate exactly how you can use them. So for this video I'm just going to use the little example that was included in the kit with that heart. Now I have uh, chopped down my card base to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter, so I have a nice square note card there. And uh, this way it fits with the proportions of that uh, little uh, example that I have already. So I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card base and I have stamped the sentiment as you can see that says you are loved a lot. And to help the recipient open and close that uh, little card easier, I'm going to add a little ribbon on one side. So I have marked where I want my hole to be. I used my crocodile to punch a hole and then I'm going to set uh, an eyelet again with my crocodile. So this is going to turn that hole nice and steady. It's not going to tear easily and I'm going to tie a ribbon. I'm using my scissors to cut down the ribbon to size and now you can see how that uh, heart is flashing and I really think that this is such a fun way to create interactive cards. And we have finally reached the 10th card for today so for that I'm going to use this uh, lovely pattern paper that is full of uh, cacti and uh, I'm using a punch to punch out some of the designs. 
After cutting out a bunch of uh, those designs, I'm going to prepare the background. For that, I'm going to use this pattern paper that is the bagging of another design that was included in the kit. And uh, to make it more interesting, on one side, I'm going to use this die. This is a die by Penny Black. It's a border die, and it's only going to cut out some dots, just for a nice design element there. And now I'm going to turn all those little images into stickers, so I'm going to run them through my Xyron machine. I am planning to stick all of them on top of my card, so I thought that that was the quickest way to do it. And now I'm going to stick them on my panel, one below the other, just making a line. And just to make sure that everything is nice and straight, I'm using a T-ruler. Now, as you can see, they are turned into stickers, so they are really easy to peel off and stick on top of my panel. And I need a sentiment again from the same stamp set as I did for the whole 10 cards from uh, my favorite things. I went with one that says uh, hello there. I white embossed it. And to make it look more interesting, I decided to add this uh, adhesive tape, which is nice and thin on one side. I am going to make it nice and neat. I'm going to peel it off and then I'm going to stick on top some foiling. So I have uh, some uh, foil already cut out from a previous card that I made. I never throw these away because you can use them again and again. I used green foil there that matches perfectly my card base as well as uh, the green on the cactus. And now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that panel on top of my card base. And that finished the 10th card for today. And now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created for today using the Simon Says Stamp May Card Kit. And now I'm going to show you my three top favorites from all the cards that I have created for today. So the first one is the one with the colorful pots. I just love that uh, square little card. I also love the one with uh, the acetate panel where you can read the inside uh, sentiment. And I also loved this just because it's so unique and I really love that foiling and uh, the border on one side. Leave me a comment and let me know your favorites. So now let's take a quick look on all the leftovers. I still have the stamp set obviously and that I haven't used but I do promise to post a video on how you can use this type of uh, stamps. I do have some of those acetate and uh, you can see that I do have some elements like the palette and the brush that you can create a lovely card as well as the sunglasses. I have a few of the pattern paper that I haven't used. And of course I still have the markers that you can't see here because my daughter grabbed them. There is a giveaway on my blog so make sure to visit and enter your details for a chance to win this May card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all for watching!